Hi, this is Lynn from Paper Hoarders Anonymous, and I am here to share a video that I made for some lovely friends who were part of an ATC swap, and they weren't too familiar with ATCs, so I decided I can put together a video, kind of give them an idea of how they could do it, not necessarily how they have to do it. And since I made it and I had it, I figured I would pass it along to you. Now an ATC card is technically a card that finished is two and a half inches wide by three and a half inches long. And as you can see here, this is um, pretty much what a um, official ATC card uh, measurement would be. It could be held vertically, it can be held horizontally, but as long as it's two and a half inches by three and a half inches, you are good to go. So the cardstock I'm using is actually from um, these bookmarks that I had for another project that I had extra. And so I um, I just decided that it was pretty close to the measurement. Um, so all I needed to do was trim off a little, but it was definitely the um, density that I was looking for. Now I got these two particular books in a discount store and I really loved the um, art on the pages all throughout the book. Uh, so I decided that I think I could probably find um, perfect paper for the base of my home as well as for the roof of my home and maybe for any additional um, things that I'm going to place on the front of my home. So. Um, I found a page in this book that I really liked. Um, I liked the honeycombs and I thought that would make a really nice, um, roof for my house. Then I found this page, which I really liked. It was, um, this tree that I thought would work really well for the base of my home. I'm using a pencil with an eraser because I don't know what I'm going to put on this card. One thing I want to say is don't overthink it. So what I'm going to do is just draw whatever comes to mind. But note that I am coming to the top of my card and I am coming to the left and the right of my card because what I want is to have that two and a half inch um, width represented and I want to have the three and a half inch length represented no matter what um, I can cut out anything else but my points are all within the measurement um, requirement okay so I'm happy with that and I'm going to finish off my roof and um again not overthinking it and now I'm going to fill in for my main structure, the base of uh, my card, and I'll do pretty much that. So I've got my three and a half inches covered. I have my two and a half inches covered. I am good to go. I'm going to cut out. Um, now you could cut out the whole house as one piece, but I'm actually going to cut out um, the two pieces separate and I'll show you how, uh, how that's going to work if you stick with me. And there you have a little house. Cute, right? Now I'm gonna use Fabrifix. Um, this is a good glue for fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper. So it's going to um, do what I need it to do. Um, and what I want is to um, find a spot on the honeycomb paper that will um, make for a good roof. So what I'm going to do is I am going to glue, um, 
the roof form to the back of the honeycomb paper because when I mount it, then I'm going to cut around it and then the honeycomb will be on the front of my roof, if that makes any sense. Now my roof is completed and I think it looks cute. And I don't even have the base on it yet, but uh, it definitely is um, the look I was going for. So I'm quite happy with it. Now I need to do the same thing for the base with the tree. So I've got my base and I have my roof and I'm pretty happy with this. It's really looking cute. Now for accessories, I found this pine cone on the paper that I was cutting out of and I thought it would make a cute kind of chimney. See? Um, so yeah, I'm starting to think about accessorizing. Uh, now I want to do windows and a door and I found this honeycomb paper that complements the roof and I thought maybe I could do something with that. I think I have a door. Um, simple, but I think it works and um, yeah, I'm happy with my door. So I found this paper and I saw these butterflies and I thought, eh, you know what? These might make some funky, cool uh, windows. So I made windows and I love them. So I've disassembled my house and I've taken another bookmark card that's um, marked off with the measurements. And now I'm going to mount these pieces onto this card. Um, so you will see how that works, but it's going to provide some stabilization. Plus, it's going to hold all my pieces together. Now, my roof comes just below the two and a half, three and a half inch mark, but I'm putting this pine cone chimney on and bringing it right up to the line so that it qualifies for being three and a half inches tall. You can be creative and... Uh, I wanted to be creative and I wanted to be within the right uh, the right measurements so it worked out pretty good so after adding the accessories my little house is ready to be cut out and after cutting it out I just took a black marker and went around all the edges just to kind of make um, things pop out a little bit more even traced around the honeycomb to make that um, pop out. As you can see, it's been cut out and each section is uh, individual, but when you mount it, it becomes one ATC card. Well, there you have it, a Whimsical House ATC card ready to be swapped. I had a blast making it and I'm looking forward to making a lot more. Yeah, so I definitely have to work on my recording skills, but I think you kind of know where I was going with this. And I got to tell you, out of all the little houses that I've made since this, this is probably one of the top three favorites that I have so far. So uh, if you enjoyed the video, please feel free to comment. And until next time, happy crafting.